Hi everybody, welcome to the Coleco Atom for Dummies. This is a series of videos I'm going to make where I take the time to explain various aspects of the Coleco Atom, hardware, software, peripherals, how they work, in a very toned down, as little as possible, as little techno babble as possible, so that anybody can get it. It's not an aspiration on anybody, an aspersion, I'm sorry, it's not an aspersion on anybody by saying it's the Coleco Atom for dummies. It's more of a play on the dummies manuals that exist out there. So, I hope you enjoy this video. Alright everybody, today we're going to take an in-depth look at the Super Game Module. Not in-depth as in how does it work on the Atom or how does it work on the ColecoVision, but in-depth as in what's it made of. If you don't know, the Super Game Module plugs into the expansion port of the ColecoVision or the Coleco Atom, and it gives you 32K of RAM memory in the lower 32k of address range and it also adds another sound chip in the case of the Atom the 32k of extra RAM is not necessary because the Atom already has it but the ColecoVision uses it now just so you wonder well why supposedly and technically this is to give you a better game performance for new games that are made to use the super game module but in all actuality this allows programmers to take existing games that are written for the MSX computer which is almost the same exact specs as the ColecoVision but uses a different sound chip and has RAM and port them over to the ColecoVision and then just make minor changes as to controls or mapping out the keyboard to something else so that's why it was designed yeah it's they say is to give better sound and more RAM to games, but really, it's really just to allow some programmers to port other games to the ClickVision. So we're going to take a look at it. It's a beautiful box. I am not going to begrudge anybody. It's a very well designed, very nice box. I'm going to open it up. It's got a little magnets here, which is nice. It fell apart. Nice little manual written in the ClickVision style of blue and black. Tells you how to plug it in how to use it. I don't read manuals. I can join the Opcode Super Game Club. Mm, I don't know what I get, but you can do that. This is the Super Game Module. This may look familiar to people because the Super Game Module is designed very, very closely to the auto dialer for the Atom. I believe the only thing they really did was block out where the plug is. And then you got a nice, really nice, well designed box. We're going to open this up. We're going to take a look at it and see how it's made inside. I'm assuming it's got screws. I'm hoping it's got screws. I'm feeling for screws right in here. I know that underneath that it says clear collision. I'm not finding any screws. Is this just one of those ones that's just held together with clips? You know what? It actually does look like that. It looks like the clips are right here. I may not even have to take that off to get to it. Let's see. We'll give me a screwdriver and I'm going to take this little clip right here. I can see it. See this clip right here goes behind that clip. So it looks like if I do this, I can clear it one way or another. I really don't want to break it. But I'm pretty sure this is how it's going to come apart. I'm going to need to have something to hold it. Because what I'm doing is I'm going to lift this clip out like so. I'm going to take this screwdriver and put this down here to hold it apart. So. Yeah, 
I need three hands. Maybe if I go here, maybe I can do it that way. Nope, I don't want to do that. Let's see. I'm going to get it apart because we need to find out what it's made out of. So, see, I got it there. It's just I, I, I need a third hand to. We have the technology. We shall do this. Give me something, a uh, little skid proofy thing to stop from sliding. We're going to go again. Let's see? Get that there. And that there. Okay, see, now I got this started. See? Now I'm going to go to the other end and I'm going to do the same on this end. I should be able to, once I get this one started, it should open right up. Do, 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 do. It got my finger. There appears to be something else in here. Ah, oh, we got some screws. All right, back. There's some screws under here. The guy's being sneaky. We need to pull that off. You're like, why, Millie? Why? Because I want to know. And you want to know, too. Not many people own these things. Big old hair dryer. Because, as you know, I have a lot of hair, and I have to dry my hair. I'm going to take my big old hair dryer. Warm up this. Once this is warmed up... Ah. Hang on. Let's take off the little pretty protective coating. Once this is warmed up, I should be able to lift it right out. Let's see. Let's see if I can. Now what I'm doing is I'm just blowing the heat on here. I'm gonna warm up the glue that's holding it. Once it gets warm enough, I should be able to take a little screwdriver and get behind it and just lift it off gently. Slowly lifting it off. And there's one screw. And I bet the other screw is right around this end down here. So what I'm going to do is... I'll pull it all the way off. It's coming up very easy. It's not bending or kinking. And it didn't get damaged one bit. I'm going to set this off to the side and I can reapply it later. And now back to disassembling. Disassemble, no disassemble. Johnny Five is alive. No disassemble, Johnny Five. Okay, so we have some screws in there. So that, these are going to unhook, but I'm assuming now instead it's going to come this way. One screw off of here, one here, and yeah, obviously, that's how it goes. 
Very simple. And there we go. Fascinating little piece of kit. What do we got in here now? Obviously an LED. We have a capacitor. We have this chip right here is an ATF1502AS. No clue. This right here is a CYZC1990. No clue. This is the sound chip, the YM sound chip. Okay. So, I'm going to assume this is your sound chip. You got a resistor, a couple more resistors floating around in here. Anything on the bottom? Okay, nothing on the bottom. Very simple design, simple case. This is based on the auto dialer for the um, Cleco Atom. The same design. It's nice that they, there is a little plug on the auto dialer that lets you plug it into the phone. It's interesting that they blocked it out. That's kind of cool. I was expecting to find like the line of where it was, but they they blocked it out or redesigned it one of the two. And then what we got in here? Op code 2017. Nice clean bare bones board. And again, these chips here. It's fascinating that the sound chip is actually in a socket. Yeah, I mean, these are surface mounts, but this sound chip is in a socket. Why? Don't know. So, yeah, these are... Let's just find out what they are. Let's get out the old phone, and let's just look these numbers up on the Google and see what it is. So, this first one, again, take up the glasses so I can read, is an ATF 1502... AS. I said AS. And that is a complex programmable. It's a CPLD. So I would assume this is the part that's handling the the, what do you call it? The decoding of the various input output lines to access the sound chip and probably also to access the RAM. Now, I'm assuming this is going to be the RAM, so let's just see. CY7C1-1990. Where's my 9990? Just tell me what it is. Just, everybody says seven character. Maybe I have to go break digging in deeper. Okay, but this one right here. This is the part number. So what are you? What are you? <laughs> Any English text in here? <laughs> Description. Yeah, all nice. Uh, yeah, it's it's um 32k of RAM. So this is your 32k of RAM right there. This is your I.O. that's controlling your input output in probably just for this only. I'm assuming because just looking at the pins and stuff here, I don't think this has anything to do with the RAM. It may, but I'm pretty sure you can just drop RAM right on the expansion bus of the ColecoVision and it'll work just fine. So this right here is handling the I.O. Well, actually just the output to the sound chip because there is no input from the sound chip. So it's handling the port. It's decoding the ports and sending the data to the sound chip as necessary. It may be paging this on, like turning off the ROM and paging this in, because I know with the super or the super game module you can page things in and out. And just, I just noticed, just so anybody don't freak out. Yeah, I do have a static thing. I don't wear it. Um, so this this right here is probably also paging the RAM in and out because you can turn off the ROM and page this in as all RAM, no ROM. And so forth. So that's probably what this is doing. I would not be surprised if you could not just drop this chip straight on the I, on the bus and just give yourself 32k in RAM in the lower part. It just makes sense that you could. This way, it's just a capacitor. No big deal. A whole bunch of little service mount chips. It almost looks like this was 
made for them by somebody else and then they had to add the uh, sound chip after the fact that the sound chip wasn't available for straight into the board for soldering the board instead they put a socket in there it's very well designed I'm not a fan of these color though but that's neither here nor there so there we go that's a super game module and you won't watch me put it back together probably you're like you ruined it Millie it's destroyed how dare you destroy something you know what you can take things apart and put things back together all the time I didn't destroy anything did I scratch it a little bit maybe maybe not no more scratches than would show up if you used it so this is how this thing goes these go under here and you put that on there see voila see you really ain't got no scratches on it at all and then you take dish screw, put it in this hole I said put it in the hole get get in the hole you messing with me thank you get in there it didn't want to listen it's like in uh, what was that movie what was that movie? Uh, b -b 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 Happy Gilmore. Yeah, ha just like in Happy Gilmore. Get in the hole. You know you want to go in the hole. That's your home. Get in the hole. Yeah, I know. I entertain myself because I'm bored. This is what I do sometimes. Is I talk to myself when I make videos. Because nobody else is here listening to me. And then we put this back on here. You know, I'm going to look at Just look at the case and make sure I put it on right. It goes this way. And see all the glue still there? I didn't hurt it at all. I'm just going to slide it right there. Put that right there. Press down. Press down. Never know I even did it. And then, just for the gets and the shiggles, where to go? Right here. I'm going to put this back on here because why not? There. Well, it's not lined up perfectly. Let's line this up better. Yeah, a little bitty plastic cover right there. Voila, all done. That's done. And then, we have the case, the wrapper. It's like putting a burrito that you've just chewed up and done other things to back in the case. Oh, is that, is that for the box? Yeah, that's for the box. Duh, Bill. Millie, whatever you want to call yourself. That's for the box. You, unhook. You come like this. You there. Yeah, you right there. You going back in your box. You like that. Put that right there. See? Put that right there. Close that. Then we take El Boxo. And we're going to put it in pretties. I'm going to go... Leave it going to go that way. So it's going to put this one in here like this. Like that. Nice and pretty. That down there. Take the nice pretty sticker it has on it. It's all pretty. It's all pretty. Don't tear the pretty stickers. Take these, like so, put that over there like so, and voila, she's back in her box, and she's all pretty again, and there you go. That is a super game module from Opcode Games. I've never plugged it into the Atom yet to see how it works, but they do work, and there you go. I took it apart just so you could know. Have a great day.